Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit different because today we are going to be discussing on the topic of mental health, and that is something that I've been struggling with for the past couple weeks. And so I wanted to raise this issue because mental health is something that will affect your daily life and the work you produce a lot. Like when I have issues with mental health, I am unable to study properly, and it's hard for me to produce good quality videos with enough footage. Hence, this video is a compilation of all of the study clips from the past two or three weeks. And yes, there is a mental health video today. Before I get on with the video, thank you guys for three hundred subscribers. I'm so thankful for all of the. <clears throat> support that you guys have given me, and today we just hit three hundred thirty-three subscribers, which is such a nice number. Even my mum agreed with me. Three to three, isn't it so nice? Okay, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna get started with the video, and I'll be talking more about my life, school, as well as the importance of resting and taking care of your mental health. Let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna be talking more about life updates as well as school, and my teachers have already told us term three is the busiest term of the whole entire year, and no doubt I have literally tests coming up in two weeks. National day is literally tomorrow, or well, two days later because it's Sunday right now, right? And there's a lot of things to do, a lot of homework to be done, and a lot of preparation for exams that we need to do, which is taking a toll on me, because stress management isn't something that I am the best at. I'm not gonna lie about it, and <clears throat> there's just a lot of homework to be done. It feels like I'm running on a marathon endlessly, you know, no breaks, just. Really strong all the way down, as you would call in the Singaporean culture. Um, so yeah, and there's so many things to do because I am in two different interest groups. I have CCA commitments. I also have this channel to manage as well as my study with me channel to manage. Um, VIA, and <clears throat> also I'm. Part of the class committee in my class, so that's more work to do. Cause I need to plan events, and you know, manage discipline of my classmates. So there's like a few times I just get so frustrated in school that I'll just like, literally shout like ah, and I see it, and my friends like, oh god, here we go again. Um, I mean, it's normal. Shouting is a great relief for stress, by the way. Not gonna lie. And yeah, um, right now because it's semester two for year one to NUS High, we get a um a computer science module, um, in semester two, which is like also a core module. So right now I have like about ten modules to manage since we also have triple science. But I mean, it's all about embracing challenges and taking on. What you think you can do, and my instructor for my CCA, he said, in these six years that you're going to spend in this school, and you are literally smart as brainiacs, um, make sure you use these six years wisely. Whatever opportunities that come your way, take it because you do not know when you'll be able to receive those opportunities again, and that's something that, you know, whoa, it was like. Kind of struck me and it was kind of inspiring because I mean yes I know that being a yes high of course is something that I'm very grateful for and it's not an easy feat and I worked really hard to get into this school and yeah it's just like you know okay now I'm gonna have to seize all these opportunities that I get and actually make good use of it so that I don't waste my six years here. In which I spend so much time and effort to be able to DSE successfully into a year's high, and I definitely not going to waste this opportunity that I have been given. All right, let's talk a little bit about resting and taking care of your mental health. In Singapore, it is 
viewed as you know keep on grinding ot doesn't mean you get extra ot pay and it is such an unhealthy mindset that you need to be working all the time to be considered productive to be considered successful or to even be successful no you need your mental health to be okay before you get even to any of these things and doing these things might just be something that will take a toll on your own mental health and you know work-life balance something that is so important in this day and age but it is often overlooked as keep on working and working and working and not resting which is such a bad idea just saying um because you need to rest your body is your greatest asset quote daniel tamago please check out his channel he is really good um but yeah work-life balance you need to know when you need to rest you know this pomodoro method makes sense right you have to take breaks after studying and it's unhealthy to be constantly studying for long periods of time without enough breaks and even so you need to be making sure that your diet is good you're exercising you're drinking enough water and you are sleeping enough because sleep is the time where your body will put in all of that knowledge that you've learned throughout the day into your little cabinets and places in your brain so that it's all sorted out and organized for you to remember things better so do not overlook sleep and there's different stages of sleep and there are plenty of videos of um, the importance of sleep on youtube so highly recommend you go check that out if you have not but yes please take care of yourselves guys i also have to take care of myself and find a circle of friends or a support group or someone that you can trust and talk to um especially when you're going through all of these hard times because you are not alone over here just me crying at night i filmed because i was kind of planning to make a mental health video already since i had like a lack of clips um for like week four five and six which is about three weeks of studying or whatever capacity my brain was able to tolerate um for filming but yes i'm going to move on to the vlog portion which is the resting portion of this video took myself out on a little solo date and i hope you enjoyed the rest of this clip see you later or on the next video depending on when i do a voiceover again bye bye
Your expectations 